of the NFT news. Uh, last uh, few weeks have been really, really awesome in terms of NFTs and the whole ecosystem. There have been lots of uh, big announcements and there have been lots of uh, uh, big brands uh, involvement in NFTs. And we publish our weekly NFT update and in that we cover all of those things. So if you have not uh, read those, uh, you know, if you are not reading those blogs, you can go on to our Twitter and check them out. Uh, there are few things that are really interesting. One of them being uh, there is a now NFT trademark approval in China. So over last one month, we have seen that China has started showing some positive signs toward digital assets and cryptocurrencies and stuff like that. Like they have been uh, giving some appro approvals and uh, yeah, so maybe it's a good sign for the whole market. Then uh, we saw PUBG Penguins getting into Walmart. That's kind of a first really big NFT uh, intellectual property getting into a really big brand and into big stores like Walmart that can uh, uh, that has an ability to deliver this product worldwide and to ex uh, give exposure to NFTs and blockchain technology to the masses so that's a really uh, that's a really good news uh, for the whole nft and metaverse ecosystem we saw usdc a stable coin getting listed on polkadot uh, polkadot is around 8 billion dollar in market cap so we have recently seen usdc come on polkadot so that's a good sign for that network uh, Coinbase's base network is nearly doing 2 million in daily transaction. We saw Frantech uh, took off uh, and then it dipped as well. But right now it's again growing and it's showing good signs. People are attracting more and more. There are uh, actually lots of conversations uh, ha are happening around Frantech. People are actually using the product. So that's really good. So uh, we have lots of good news. Uh, that have been come around. Yesterday, there was a big reveal of products by Meta and uh, the the avatars that they showed uh, that would definitely put VR into more light. And when the VR is in more light, the Metaverse gets more uh, shine and light as well. So that's a good news for whole Web3 ecosystem. Uh, there are... Uh, you know, this is the news that I did not ex expect. Uh, so ICC announced Web3 app launch for 2023 Cricket World Cup. Now, uh, one thing about... Uh, so we have a request uh, from Kindex team. Let me just approve it. Hey there, can you hear me? Hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we finally got you here. I was just you know going through some of the NFT market and metaverse stuff to make sure uh, you know we are not uh, uh, wasting times of our listeners. Uh, uh, meanwhile, I have, I have some technical yeah. problem, but everything worked at the moment. So, yeah. how are you doing, uh, Tigran? Right? Yeah. yeah, awesome. So, how how are you doing? Everything is good. Nice, hard working as usual. Yeah. We're preparing for for testnet. Oh wow, that's awesome! So, uh, can you pl uh, please give a bit introduction about yourself? Yep, sure. Hi everyone. My name is Tigran. I'm co-founder of Kinetics Network. Uh, Kinetics is a high officially cross-chain protocol. So we have uh, already entered enter the mainnet with aggregation mode this year. And this is already audited uh, and uh, we have a user base, we have attraction, everything is work. Um, absolutely good. But uh, our like main uh, work where we go forward is a new um, 
product is a flash trade. I think we will talk about this more deeply. I'm ready to, to for, for your questions and uh, I will try to answer all the like all, all the questions we, we, we should prepare for me. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we are really looking forward to hearing from you and what you guys are building. Uh, I have uh, looked a bit into your product and your website and I know, uh, you know, some things and I have prepared a set of questions for you. Uh, so uh, I, I, w I would really like to uh, start with a very top level um, mission and vision kind of question. So how would you describe the primary uh, mission and vision of uh, Kindex Network? Mm. Okay, this is a good question. The main task is uh, to make the safer transfer of liquidity and between different networks. So the stability of Ethereum is like a already long-term topic, and uh, the, there is a lot of discussion. But however, we, we can see that new blockchains are still developing, and uh, they are also finding their audience in a different regions or like different type of project. And the crypto market has not been fully formed. Uh, because all of us, we are waiting for mass adoption. And as uh, the issue of blockchain compatibility will become more even relevant. So that's why we are working on um, ability that all the chains, they can uh, easily talk between each other and users. They can uh, feel it comfortable, not like as a DeFi right now, it's, it's look like a huge technical monster and for a lot of people it's not so easy as uh, like custodial wallets and custodial solutions. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think you are uh, right on point that, the, uh, you know, the whole Web3 uh, over, let's say, last three, four years, we have seen lots of products and the UI has not been uh, up to the standards of Web2 Web products. So yeah, that's uh, you are completely right on that. Uh, so what sets uh, Kindex apart from other cross-chain trading platforms? Um, Kinetics have the two mods. The first mod is a basic mod which we already launched in the main net. We have called it aggregation. So the aggregation uh, is like. Uh, um, <laughs> the, the, the main difference of aggregation is uh, relay nodes, which from kinetics, and uh, this this relay nodes creates a gaslit, uh, gasless solution also. So all perform all actions for the users is automatically, and while the users uh, money is not stored in a relay, so this, this is the way uh, how the where the users they don't need to trust us. So the it's like a low level structure where the users create a mini smart contracts, sign it, and relay nodes broadcast transaction along uh, like a given road. So that means the, 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 this means so there is like no need to to trust us. So basically, if you say like in a few words, in a in a simple words, uh, the schema segregations where the transactions. Um, connecting between different bridges and indexes. So, but everything happened in one point. You don't need to do any work manually. But there's also have some, this is a good point of aggregation, but uh, uh, there's also some like, uh, this is design, how, how, how market, like a crypto market right now formed. And the transaction in the aggregation are not atomic. So, for example, if you talk like uh, how the DEX work, they have an atomic transaction inside the one chain. But in the aggregation mode, it's not possible to, to make atomic transaction because it's a connection of bridge and connections of DEXs. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, I'm, I'm assuming the, there will be lots of uh, assets on your platform as well. Uh, when you are, you know, uh, doing all this aggregation. Uh, so how do you ensure the security of the assets and transactions on your platform? Um, so for this, um, if you talk about the security, so how that works, the bridge has a group, for example, of uh, validators. 
and you need to pay for them, wait for confirmation. Usually it's take about like three or five minutes. And during this time, price for the gas or for the slippage uh, can be changed. And uh, when we respond for, for from the, when we receive a response like from the node, and it's like transaction uh, already passed from one network to another. So for for, for example, on the DEX on IMM is it, it doesn't pass through because the gas or slippage tolerance is already changed. And this is a, like a huge problem of design of how the crypto market, because uh, it, it, it's not a problem of our design, because this, this is a problem that uh, bridges and DEXs, they cannot work together in aggregation mode, because from valid, for validators, we need always wait answer is about like two and five minutes. And this is a huge problem. So the, the most important difference uh, from Kinetics and like all others platform that uh, we offer a new standard and we call this standard resolving. And so this is a new, <coughs> this is a new mode, uh, which we're planning to launch a test net soon where is no pools, no bridges, no DEXs. And if you talk about like a new standard of resolvers, uh, all flats are on the walls between uh, users and market makers. So you don't need to store your funds like in a TVL. And only you have access and uh, all the payments is become like direct payments between transaction between uh, like people user and market maker so it's like a p2p transaction so that's how we secure and that's like a main difference in security in a security way so that's really interesting there are no pools there are no bridges uh, nothing like that so uh, you know how so how do you ensure like how does uh, kind text aggregation algorithm uh, ensures best route between networks among you know the all, all the liquidity source so like how the, how does that algorithm determines the best route for user and for, uh, in terms of speed as well uh, for all games it's, it's quite easy so all the magic happens under the hood and we use our guys to quickly check the liquidity between all the sources that we have been aggregated so we find a couple, in a couple seconds, I mean, uh, we find the road and uh, like this road for, for example, for user to make it manually will take much more long target time. And uh, during this time when the user trying to find uh, this manually, the prices already can be changed. So that's why most uh, like users prefer you use the aggregation because aggregation can do on the back end, a lot of calculations and work very fast and very easily. We also use search engines from our partners, so we automate all this through our relay nodes. And this is allows us to us and our, our users to make a swap like in one click. And one more important thing, the relay nodes and algorithms, they also estimate the gas. Uh, and guess not only on first network, on like they estimate guess in the, all the networks and the different assets, and uh, they prepare this everything for you in your final rate. Uh, yeah, that's uh, really cool. So, uh, how, uh, can you elaborate on the role of uh, Kintex relay nodes in handling gas payments? Uh, Yes, of course. The first uh, thing Kinetics LA nodes do estimation gas cost and find roles with the lowest price. So they use EAP 2612. Uh, this means that the token with a permit can pay gas from the exchange token. There's also gasless model. Uh, right, right now it's uh, still in, we're preparing it. So it's working not on, on, on all chains. It's like, I think, three or four chains already uh, in the main net. But this uh, allows our users uh, to use like a Paymaster account. So you have a deposit, for example, like twenty or fifty dollars one time on on a smart contract which you create. So only you have access there. You don't need to put them much. So fifty dollars is enough, and uh, you can borrow from Relay Note uh, for each transaction. So it's like some kind of uh, long-term borrowing, but without any percentages. 
So because uh, there is no liquidity in the pool, and this is your own liquidity. So, but, but you can borrow in any chain. So you, you, you ask LA nodes, uh, so I, I want to make a swap from the chain where I don't have a gas. And LA not uh, in the same transaction borrow you and from your exchange token uh, put it back. So if you make an exchange, your deposit always stays the same. If you borrow and not pay, so in this way you will be slashed from your deposit. Uh, so this is the universal gas feature, right? Yeah, we call it universal gas. <laughs> so I mean, uh, I'm, I, I, you know, on on the first look of it, I really like it. So let's say uh, I'm 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 just, I'm just trying to understand it, right? So uh, if 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 I'm going to do five transactions, so instead of paying the fee uh, fees every time, what I uh, instead do is that I deposit a certain amount of money in a smart contract. Uh, so that that money can be used to pay all my cross chain or all, all all my transaction fees so i don't really have to pay fees every time uh, instead i have uh, this smart contract through which all the fees are paid right yeah it's something similar to account abstraction so you have like your paymaster smart contract where you put a deposit in for example in um, bnb network like 50 uh, B USDT, USDT, USDC, whatever you want. You, you put like $50 uh, in a stable coin in one chain, no matter what chain. And you can ask LA not, so please borrow me on another chain. Uh, I need a native to pay a gas. And uh, LA not borrow it for you. In the same transaction, it's like you pay back from another token which you exchange. So you can forget about the gas on all the changes. Oh, wow. So that's really awesome. So let's say if, uh, you know, I mean, if I have access to, so like, let's say if I have Solana, if I have Ethereum, if I have uh, Bitcoin, uh, what I can do is that I can uh, put 50 USDT in that smart contract to pay the gas fees for anything, like on any chain, like on Solana chain, on Ethereum chain, on, uh, on 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 Bitcoin chain, I don't uh, need to have uh, uh, you know main token to pay pay fees. So I mean, I, uh, I I said I have Ethereum, but instead of Ethereum, if I have some other uh, token on Ethereum chain, I don't really need ETH to pay that fee, right? Um, right now, it's only EVM networks, so we 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 don't support uh, Bitcoin or Solana. We uh, we expand it to eight Ethereum uh, EVM networks. Uh, but in the future, I hope it will be all the networks which you like, which the user expect. So I, I think yes, it, it will be done soon. But right now, it's only even networks. But the, so, but the scenario, yes, you are right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is the guestless feature, or is is guestless feature something else? No, no. Guestless is uh, like some like kind of new tokens which which we uh, have already permit. You can pay without gas totally. So the gas will be taken from this token. But for all tokens, for example, like USDT on Ethereum, they not support a permit. And for this token, you can borrow a gas from a node. So it's, that's, that's what we call universal gas because it's uh, uh, this like um, this feature uh, support absolutely any token on the network which we already added. Awesome! Yeah, I mean that's really cool. Uh, and uh, as 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 a user, I think this really makes uh, you know experience much simpler. Uh, because uh, it removes a lot of complexity and uh, lots of uh, uh, hurdles for a user or to onboard a new user uh, who doesn't really have experience with wallets and stuff like that. Uh, I, I, I do have one additional question. So uh, now on your platform, how many wallets will you support? Right now, we support Wallet Connect and all the wallets which include in the Wallet Connect. So there is a, there is a quite a lot. I think it's more than 50. OK. Awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, OK, let's uh, move to a different product. So there is a product called uh, 
flash trade feature like there is a feature called fresh trade trade so what are the advantages of that that uh, feature and how does it benefit the users uh so flash trade is like a new approach and that's uh what, what was the test net coming soon so in this way uh, as we as we previously talked about the aggregation so we need to go our lay node need to go by the each step so it can be bridge it can be decks it, it can be different kind of pools we need to analyze everything and uh, that's uh, happened on a um, structure of relay node and you need to pay for this like users need to pay for all these steps flash trade is an absolutely new approach where the users don't have like don't need to wait any algorithms to calculate the page between bridges and exchanges so here everything is done uh for him like by professional market makers so the market maker we call him resolver uh he, he set a rate and competed uh, with uh, like market makers, they competed between each other. So the, 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 it's like a decentralized system selects the best market maker and connects them to the user. So at the same time, the market maker is not limited by anything. So he can use liquidity his own or, for example, liquidity from CFI or DeFi. Awesome. Yeah, that's a really cool concept. So uh, your documentation mentions the challenges posed by fragmented liquidity and the issues with wrapped tokens. So how do you address these challenges and how do you solve these challenges? Yeah, this, 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 this is a huge uh, like a market pro problem. So the, the wrap tokens is uh, it, from from one side it's like help uh, on the beginning to solve a problem with uh, moving liquidity between different chains but it also creates a lot of new problems um, which uh, can uh, open for hackers and for other people a lot of vectors of attack so the kinetic solution approach uh, eliminates uh, constraints on liquidity fragmentation by enabling fast, efficient, and uh, accessible like cross-chain trading. So when the resolvers is like a professional market makers, they can take all the DeFi related risk. Like they include the blocking organizations, the price, uh, like price valuation and uh, reflections in, in the trade of assets. Uh, so basically the, the the main problem of wrap tokens is uh, they're, they're like in a pool and um, pool can be attacked uh, for example if it's pool like ethereum and other <coughs> network which is not big and uh, on this network can have an attack on like 51 or any others uh, <coughs> any kind of other attack and uh, the attackers they can have access to the pool that means that they can drain liquidity from all the networks and this, uh, th th this is like a really huge problem of the market. And as we can see, when the some bridges they attack, so all the liquidity is drained from there. Here is absolutely new approach. So all the market makers they take a risk by himself and uh, collect uh, all the assets on his own wallet. Uh, so each market maker they manage his own risk and they not create uh, new virtual tokens or wrap token and they not store it in a TVL. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, so. How does kind Kindex's approach align with Vitalik's uh, viewpoint on interoperability and scalability in blockchain networks? So, how do you help blockchain networks scale? How do you help them, you know, connect with other other blockchains? Hey, similar to 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 my answer already. So, the Vitalik view is that the assets of different ecosystems should not be mixed with each other. So this situation is commonly observed when uh, utilizing bridges, which enable to create of wrapped assets or network lacking liquidity, like native liquidity. All this leads uh, to fact 
is that like 51 attacks is carried out of the network or an attack to the breach or pull the asset may sharply so like drained from from the such situation can lead to significantly economic consensus or the native network of the asset awesome uh so uh now i uh you know saw a lot about zero no uh, knowledge proofs and zero knowledge technology in your white paper and on your website so before you know we go into those kind of questions can you explain what is zero knowledge technology oh yeah sure <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's 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 good to learn from people who are building in the industry and people who are best at all this stuff. So yeah, please uh, enlighten us. What's a zero knowledge technology? Yeah, I will try to explain it in a super easy way. So in, in like in context of where uh, zk proof are implemented, the k elemented is light client. So the light client is like leverage on ZK to greatly increase the security of transaction validation and optimize the update process for the light client state. Um, I mean that at the same time, like ZK technology is also used as the protocol level. So leading to significant efficiency improvements in on the chain calculations related to validations and proof or by shifting them off chain. Mm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, <laughs> to explain it <laughs> as much uh, yeah, as, yeah, as, yeah. as possible. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, really cool. So, uh, how do resolvers in flash trade system conti uh, contribute to the liquidity pooling process? Um, so the key feature of the protocol is architecture is that the resolver have unlimited opportunity to fill user orders. So they can use their liquidity using trading strategies, like different trading strategy, or move users fund through the DEXs or hedges using like C5 exchanges or even use a borrow with liquidity, whatever they want. So they can build their own strategy and anyone can, can do it. So like all this together leads to the most efficient, uh, in my in my opinion, uh, and also I can see the the difference between DEXs because DEXs they usually have like isolate system to the formula, and some uh, they're trying to improve it. They have already like a few versions of this, but anyway they cannot use uh, liquidity outside the, the the pool. So this is like a main difference. Yeah, so how does the decentralized liquidation in the flash trade minimizes the losses from failed resolved orders? Um, the resolver... I mean, failed resolver or orders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the resolver, is a, uh, as we all usually call them, like a market maker, they leave the deposit in a contract so before they start in the exchange. So if the resolver does not execute transaction in time, then like anyone can come and take the fund from his collateral and pay to the user. So that the user will not even know about it because it's like happened very quickly. So the liquidation is supposed to, the liquidator is supposed to liquidate transaction like as fast as possible. And they can uh, have an income from this uh, liquidation process. So this is the income is like demotivation for resolvers to fail the transaction and motivation for liquidators to, to make it as much as much as, as much quickly as, as possible. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so how do smart boards in flash trade system ensure fair competition and efficient trading strategies? Um Smart boss in the flare. Smart boss is a, that's how we, we we call it. So basically, it's uh, like any kind of different strategy for for market makers. They can build their own, but usually, uh, like in, in a traditional way of market making, it's like some kind of bots bots 
which uh, monitoring uh, so uh, liquidity and uh, like usually they monitor liquidity between different pools if you talk about on chain so they can monitor main pool and they can monitoring pools of uh, different uh, dexes uh, on chain for cross chain it's a little bit more complicated boss they do this, everything the same but on the different chains and smart bots what which we call it's bots which can connect with to different source of liquidity so you can use leverage you can use cfi you can use your own you can use DeFi, you can use also like everything uh what's happened uh, in the environment so like we, we for example we can follow the uh twitter of cz we can to follow the news what's happened in the united states or other countries like china we can follow the different k opinion leaders uh, we can follow some like different signals so this like a more more functionality of this bots that's why we call it smart boss and fair competition is because anyone can do it so there is no like restriction limitation for this anyone can join and build his own strategy and if you can uh, uh, compete with the rate, so the order will be yours. Uh, thank you, Tigran. Thank you for joining the spaces today. We'll check uh, if there are any questions from the audience. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, request to speak or you can leave them on comments. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Tigran, if you have any uh, messages for the community like you know what uh, where they can check uh, uh, your platform out where they can get updates uh, when is the testnet launch if you want to share anything please go ahead if you ask me um, i think I, I i don't have any questions right now so but i i'm always uh, open for for chatting so if you will have any question or somebody from audience they will have questions so feel free to contact me and, and, and i will be happy to to discuss with you okay awesome thank you so much thank you for joining today uh thank you for everyone for listening uh we will upload this on youtube as well so if you're listening on youtube thank you for listening there as well uh so tigran thank you for joining we'll see you bye yeah thank you Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.